Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are looking live at Unbranded Brewing Company in Hialeah, Florida. We complete year two of CCW down here for Bash at the Brew 24. Link Chadwick, privileged once again to be joined alongside the Taskmaster, Kevin Sullivan. Kevin, our first event of 2023. Eight huge matches, three championships to be decided, and of course, our main event for the CCW Heavyweight Championship. Finally, Venetius will get his hands on Addy Olet. We have a great card tonight, but let's face it, nothing beats a cage match. We know we're gonna see a lot of violence, we may see some blood, but this is the end of Ariel, I think. He can't run, he can't hide, he's in a cage, and the rat should get his due tonight. After eight long months, Venetius finally gets his hands on his former South American Alliance partner, Eddie Alevi. Meadow and Alex Chamberlain for the Southeastern title. The crown challenging elevated status for the Tag Team Championships. Diamante, Ricky Martinez taking on Ruthie J. James Tapia in mixed tag team action. The return of Kylin King. We have a stat card. Now let's head to the ring. Lissy Almeida kicking off Bash of the Brew 24. Ladies and gentlemen, our opening contest is Is he in the dungeon to do? Yeah, <laughs> you got it. So Jackal Stevens, Daisy Kill, and the bell sounds, and we're officially underway with Bash in the Brew 24. And what a way to start the night out. Indeed it is, and as we talked about at the top, Kevin, a very stacked card tonight. Three titles will be decided. Mixed tag team competition, the return of Kylin King, Cha-Cha Charlie's in action, and of course, Gangrel, one-on-one -on -one with Eddie Torres in his CCW singles debut. As Daisy Kill in his return to CCW here, really looking to forge an identity. The last time we saw him, again, getting under the skin of Meadow, but Jackal Stevens, another top flight competitor, a former champion in his own right. And Jackal, wow, looking wow. very athletic here. Not normally one to take to the air is Jackal Stevens. But controlling the pace here early. Jackal Stevens, Kevin, you go back to the last time we were here for Bash. 
match of the Route 23. Stevens, number one in that King of the Territory over the top rope battle royal. To go from one all the way to 30 is a very tall task. I, I never thought he would do it, but he had a great, great game plan. As Daisy Kill looking to find an opening right here. You have to imagine the winner of this matchup, Kevin, very well could emerge as a top contender either for Alex Chamberlain or if Meadows able to secure that Southeastern title here later tonight. You, you know, the way Jackal moves, those arm drags are reminiscent of Ricky Steamboat. Stevens, of course, one of the more active competitors here at Coastal Championship Wrestling as Daisy Kill derails that momentum right there. Only a near fall. But you talked about those Ricky Steamboat-like arm drags. Jackal Stevens, very technically sound. Of course, recently under the tutelage of the Vampire Warrior Gangrel. Really one of the cornerstones of CCW over the last five years. You can't say enough about Gangrel. I mean, he's a legend. He's been everywhere, won many titles and I love to watch him wrestle. In and out of the ring, and he will have a very tall task in front of him tonight in the form of the authority Eddie Torres, a 15-year veteran in his own right, typically a tag team specialist, but making his singles debut on this occasion as Jackal Stevens trying to rally right here. And Daisy Kill, ever since he's come down to Hialeah for a batch of the Brew event, Kevin, has not made too many friends down here in the 305. Kill, he's grabbing Stevens there, looks almost by that ponytail. And then just sends Stevens crashing into the mat neck first. One, two, and a near fall for Daisy Kill. Over the last couple of months, Jackal Stevens has suffered some neurological issues. So anytime he gets dropped on that head, those issues could be compounded that much more. Uh, and that's a great point that you brought up. It isn't usually one injury that causes all the problems. It's the constant banging and clanging. As Kill looked to find an opening right here. And referee Adrian Paz says it's only two. But competing as active and competing as often as Jackal Stevens does, Kevin, it goes right to your point right there. That much activity is going to stockpile injuries, and we could be seeing the results of it right here. I think you're right. I mean, he. Uh, when I first got here, he could shrug things off. He doesn't shrug him off like he used to, but a very good move. Stevens trying to reverse the momentum here. And Daisy Kill once again forcing Stevens' head to cause a little trauma. As Kill surprisingly trying to slow down the pace right here. But Kevin, we talked about three titles on the line. We talked about Meadow and Chamberlain. But finally, the crown, Leonis and Maximus Khan, get their hands on Johnny Nova and ERA for the CCW Tag Team Titans. This is going to be a big one. I mean, I've been so impressed by the crowd. They're this generation's road warriors. They're in fine physical shape. And they have the basics completely down. Here we go, Daisy Kill, the Mahi Straw Cradle. Goes south of the border trying to steal the win right there. But Steven's able to hang on. And Daisy Kill right back in the driver's seat here. And Kevin, to your point, the crown, you have made that comparison to Hawk and Animal several times. They've more than backed it up inside the ring. They certainly have, and I think tonight may be their night. They've waited a while for it. Their wins have been very impressive. I don't think they're going to let themselves down tonight. A big opportunity tonight for the crown, but a, a huge opportunity to kick things off tonight for Daisy Kill. As he might be looking to end things right here, Stevens slips out right behind him. And now Jackal might have just found the opening he was looking for. And Stevens, with that flipping neck breaker too, only gets two. But the crowd here in Hialeah driving force behind Jackal Stevens getting back in this matchup. And Daisy has an uncanny resemblance to Brian Pillman. Indeed he does. We are speaking earlier on today, and you almost see a mix of a young Brian Pillman and maybe a young Diamond Dallas Page. As right there, dumps him right on his head as Daisy kills. Oh, and he's really oh. been targeting that head area of Jackal Stevens and nearly is able to secure the victory right there. I hate to say this, Blake. 
Jackal is starting to look like a boxer that's gone. Oh, one, punch too many, one too many fights too much. As Daisy Kill goes for it another time, and Stevens, just like that, the Olympic slam out of nowhere. One, two, three. Wow. So Daisy Kill, not once but twice, went for that bump handle, Kevin. Jackal Stevens had a well scouted and one Olympic slam later. And the Jackal Jig is standing tall here tonight. Two pump handle attempts by Daisy Kill connects to the Olympic Slam, and Jackal Stevens officially set the pace here tonight at Bash of the Brew 24. I'll tell you what. The beating that Jackal took tonight, I don't think that he can take this kind of punishment, especially here at this CCW, where everybody is out to prove and everybody wants to get a win. So this is going to be a, maybe a long-term problem for the Jackal. Could be on the cusp of serious injury, perhaps, in his CCW career, but Jackal Stevens will not quit, he will not give up, and he will continue to fight here on 